Tonight, an infam infamous motel is being reduced to rubble. Steve's Motel's past is so problematic, the city of Green bought it just to tear it down. So tonight, only on News 5, News 5's Bob Jones takes a look at the history, including an unsolved triple murder that detectives are not giving up on even decades later. October 1991, a tragic scene that stunned the city of Green. Inside a house on the property of Steve's Motel, three people shot to death. This was a professional hit. The owner, Manher Patel, found in the dining room, his wife, Joydi, found in the kitchen, and their six-year-old daughter, Alka, dead in her bedroom. The killings remain unsolved almost 30 years later. The child was in bed asleep and uh, just very cold-hearted. Captain Scott Cottle was a deputy then, his first year with the Summit County Sheriff's Office. I was actually assigned as security you know, at night. The first few days they kept security out, deputies out there. Today, the house where the grisly murders happened was demolished, along with 20 shacks that made up Steve's motel. The city of Green bought the property last year for $190,000 just to tear it down citing nuisance complaints, drug overdoses, and deaths. 27 EMS trips to the motel since 2017. This is a property that for years has declined and the um, has been a, a drain on some of our services. With the infamous motel reduced to rubble, Green is now hoping to sell the property on nearly two acres to a developer. Valerie Wolford with the city says there's room to grow. However, there are adjacent properties to the west that could make a nice um, development uh, for, for future business. Investigators say the teardown in no way closes the triple murder. There is always hope with technology or witnesses coming forward, the killer will be found. Cottle says over the years, two suspects have been identified. One of them has died and detectives don't have enough to bring charges on the other yet. If anybody would know anything, we would obviously uh would want to hear from them. While the demolition marks the end of Steve's motel and its checkered past, detectives will keep looking for clues in the future, hoping to solve the murders of a family decades later. We would take it as far as we could, and uh, you know, we still like to have justice for the family. In Green, Bob Jones, News 5.